Hello, gamer family. I, I, I hate how many buttons there are there now. Holy cow. Huh. So many. So many. So many. Sigurd's Paralogue. That's chapter 18. We ain't doing it yet. That's Sigurd's Paralogue. We're doing it now. Anyways, I actually have a lot to talk about just because I'm a big Fire Emblem 4 fan. Uh, most, there is a chance... That in this video that I will briefly talk about Fire Emblem 4 spoilers. If I do, I will make sure that I, p first of all, warn you before I say them. Second of all, I'll put timestamps in the description. That being said, I'm actually going to try to avoid it beyond what the game There's explicitly tells you. unnatural about this place. You feel it as well? I have no explanation for it. Yet this place bears a great resemblance to Chalfi. Chalfi? I've never heard of it. Is it somewhere in your world? Correct. It is my homeland. I had once thought to lead a quiet life there in Chalfi, alongside my wife, Deirdre. What happened? Deirdre was kidnapped by followers of a dark faith. Her life was twisted to their desires. She was to aid in the resurrection of a dark god, heralding a new age of terror and destruction. What? That's awful. Ah, uh, yet there was still light, still hope for our future. How so? I believe I shall share that part of the tale with you following the trial. Take up your weapon, for I am the trial that you shall face. Overcome this trial, and our bond will grow. My power will become yours. And we have to fight in this place that is like your homeland. There's significance to that. Correct. Now earn it. Show me that your skills are sufficient to surpass my own. I'll take you down, Sigurd. I'm giving this everything I have. Uh, anyways, uh, I actually have a lot to talk about this map. Um, but overall, I actually really like the choice, map choice. Uh, for story reasons, I actually really like it. Despite when it was first revealed to be this map, I was like, you're kidding me, right? Music choice is actually what I'm going to have to complain about, even though it's my favorite piece of music in this game. I'm just not going to bring Luhi, because he doesn't have an emblem. Anyways, I am actually going to try to go fast, because I actually don't have a whole ton of time. <laughs> the trial is thus. Find your way to me and claim victory. If we're going to reach Sigurd, we'll need to cross that bridge. And if we can capture that fortress, we might be able to operate it. <sighs> so, Fire Emblem 4 is my favorite Fire Emblem game, and it's it's not even close. Um, I'm going to talk about the music first. Um, Final Holy War is probably my favorite map, th final map theme. Second favorite final map. It's one of my favorite final map themes in the franchise and one of my favorite music tracks from the game to begin with. Um, I, smell gold. I don't think it was the right choice um, here. I think the right choice... Ashy would have been a Birth of a Holy Night first map theme. I think that would have been the right one because I consider that to be Sigurd's theme. This map theme, uh, end of the Holy War, the final Holy War, I'm going to call it by its old localization, the final Holy War. It's something like the end of the Holy War, some crap like that these days. I'm going to refer to it as the old one just because I'm more used to it though. Um, First of all, this is an amazing rendition of it. It's not its not a new arrangement. It's just a, a, a live, or it's a recording with real Awaiting instruments. Orders. That's really all it is. Um, and it sounds so beautiful. And then the battle one's like the premium range version, which... Let's go. I love it so much. Although I do think I it's the wrong map command. thing. Birth of the Holy Night, I actually would have liked more. Let's go. Um, anyways... Um, the map choice itself. 
Seeger, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to go as vague as possible. Uh, there's two separate casts in FE4 because it has a time Yours skip. This is from Chapter 10, which is after the time skip, and Seeger's right. not a playable character in this map. Seleth is the main Let's lord of this map. Um, which it made, it made me think, like, okay, well then why is this the map here? Well, up in the north is Shelfie. This is when you find the player finally returns to Shelfie for the first time since the first map in the game. And, um, this is where it gets a little bit more spoilery. In fact, this is where it gets spoilery. I'm going to put a time scamp. If you're watching this and you don't want to get a spoiler for FE4, time stamp will be on screen right now. Five, four, three, two. I should say why I'm spoiling. I'm spoiling uh, the Chapter 10 secret event in story stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so... Sigurd dies at the end of Gen 1. Um, it's the Chapter 10 secret event where if you have Seleth kill Arvis using a tear thing, um, that um, Seleth actually gets to talk to the ghost of his parents. Uh, that is why I actually think this is a perfect map. Because uh, Sigurd already mentions the fact that Essentially, he died leaving his son behind. He mentioned that in chapter three. Uh, that's when I saluted him. <clears throat> so I actually, due and due to that, I actually think that this is the perfect map. Anyways, um, no more spoiler zone. Uh, welcome back, folks. Um, yeah. Uh, as an actual gameplay-wise map. Um, chapter 10 is not my least favorite in FE4, but it's definitely one that I have mixed feelings towards. I love the beginning, I love the end, but you know the part that we're currently in right now? I hate, because there's a lot of sleep staves in this part of the map in the original. I'm trying to see, is there any freeze staves? Or Yes, uh, the freeze is this game's equivalent of sleep. Like, there's a lot of status staves here, which is accurate to this map in the original game. And it definitely makes this part- this is one of the most annoying parts of the original Fire Emblem 4. Just because of all the stata status staves, it's- oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Um, but I love the ending of this map where you fight the boss up where Sigurd's at and Shelfie. Um, the beginning, though, is actually my favorite part of this map. I really enjoy the beginning uh, with Hilda. Not Three Houses Hilda. Um, Yugdral Hilda, who is an abomination to humanity. Um, <laughs> um, as an actual choice or an emblem, <sighs> if Leaf weren't in this game, I'd say Self would have been the correct pick. But since they have Leaf representing Th Th Thracia, it makes sense that they would pick Sigurd, the Lord of Gen 1 from Fire Emblem 4, to represent I'm sorry. Um, the FE4 instead of Seleth. I personally think Seleth is the true protagonist, but I also think Hector is the true protagonist of FE7, and again, he's not here, and I actually agree with that choice. Seleth is my favorite Fire Emblem character. Uh, it sucks that he's not an emblem. It, it's quite honestly my biggest disappointment with this game is that Seleth is not an emblem. Um, but with Leaf being the Thracia one, Sigurd is the right call. Um, I forgot to talk about my opinions of Path of Radiance in the Ike video. I have a Path of Radiance to Let's Play. I already talked about that. Actually, I guess I kind of did. How was tough? Anyways, FE4 though. Um, I adore FE4. It was on this map that I truly just realized how special FE4 was. The secret event that I did. I'm not gonna talk about too too much more, but I did talk about like actually what that is in the spoiler section. Like. 
this, this, this map is when I truly just realized, okay, FE4 is something that I will never forget. Um, and I really want an FE4 remake so that more people can experience it. I'm definitely typically a gameplay over story guy, but first of all, Fire Emblem 4 is my favorite gameplay in the series. Um, second of all, it has one of my favorite stories. Not just in Fire Emblem, it, 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 I adore its story. Um, and what a remake could do to the supporting cast and what voice acting could do and full anime cutscenes all could do, just, oh man. Truly, I, I, I think an FE4 remake would be if it sells well, I think a lot of the people that play it will love it. Um, I just hope they keep. I personally, as an FE4 fan, I hope they keep it. I am they keep by the, the, the gameplay faithful, or at least if they don't keep it faithful fully, maybe make it so that like you have a faithful gameplay with the big maps and one where you don't have the big maps and like once you beat one, you can play the other all you want, something like that. Um, because FE4 would not be FE4 to me without the big maps or any of the gameplay limitations. Uh, I have, I personally, if you're curious at all about FE4, watch my series on FE4. I do it with a bunch of friends, we like voice act it, and we had a really, really fun time with the series. Even now, like, I now have a section on my channel of my favorite series. FE4 is my second favorite behind 3D World. Even now. Years later at this point. It's been over two years since we finished recording this series. It, time flies. Um, I Saying that aloud, I'm in shock. It's been two years since I've recorded my Fire Emblem 4 series. I... What the heck? I, I absolutely... Um... I'm not going to talk a ton about an FE4 remake this video, though. Um, not not too much. Um, I, I pretty much talked about all I wanted to, but also, another thing I absolutely adore about the original Fire Emblem 4, it's soundtrack. It's also my favorite soundtrack in the, in the franchise, and my second favorite video game soundtrack, period. Only... I only like Final Fantasy VII soundtrack more. That's the only soundtrack I like more stop the finish. Um, that being said, oddly enough, despite that high praise, I don't have only I only have a few amount of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time come from this game from FE4. Like obviously, Gussy Gardens from Galaxy is up there. It's one of the few. Um pure Nintendo tracks. Um, Drifting Souls from Xenoblade 2 is probably my number one. Eclipse Home coming from Xenoblade 3 is also very, very, very high up. Um, Aerith's theme, One Winged Angel, Birth of the God, Tifa's theme, all from Final Fantasy 7 are also up there. Beloved one, though, from Fire Emblem 4, is easily one of my favorite video game tracks. Um, Let's be careful. I'm not gonna talk too much about that track in particular because it's uh, because of the, one of the after. pivotal story moments of Fire Emblem 4. When I say pivotal story moments, I mean the big spoiler moment, the the moment that everyone's always sides of like, oh yeah, this game's so amazing soundtracks-wise. I mean, game-story-wise. It's that moment, the one that everyone always cites is like, wow, this is why FV4 is so good. Um, 
Uh, this track's definitely pretty high up. I, I love the map themes in FE4 in general. I think they're all b b b b b b bangers. And I like how just like an actual FE4, you actually have to seize this. You have to seize this place. Uh, though unlike FE4, Sigurd actually will move. Well, unlike an actual boss. That was something I didn't like originally. Like, oh, he shouldn't have moved. He should have had to fight all of, all the reinforcers and all that. But I've decided I actually really like that because that's how you play FE4. You just throw Sigurd at all your problems and they go away. Because it's Sigurd. Sigurd erases all your problems, bro. Um, because it's Sigurd. The fortress general's dead. The bridge is ours. Let's rest here for a minute, Divine Dragon. You just have to bait him out. If you don't bait him out properly, though, you're going to get assaulted. Like, you're going to get decimated. <laughs> Uh, because there are a lot of reinforcements. Anyways, I can actually give a full rundown of every geographical inaccuracy of this map. I love FE4. So let's begin. First of all, the forests don't go far enough south. The Julius Ishtars are in the wrong place. And that's because they're super powerful. Uh, the fact that you don't have to fight them makes it really easy. Uh, there's no place behind the castle. You should be able to move behind the castle. Where are the villages? Over here. Where's the mountains? That should be there. Um, the bridge, I actually think... You no, know, the bridge should be one wide. I believe it's a one wide choke point in FE4. Um, and this... The whole area, the whole shelfy area is completely wrong. The beach is not even close to long enough. Um, I like playing Cell up here for the secret event because I think that's the most emotional place, but he just needs to be by water in general. But the whole shoreline is completely screwed up. Uh, but that, and this tree's in the wrong place. I know that the tree's in the wrong place because I actually have a joke about it in my Fire Emblem 4 series. That is Arden's tree. So I know for a fact it is in the wrong place. <laughs> it's Arden's tree, man. It's Arden's tree. That's the tree I put Arden in in, in the first Fire Emblem 4 video on my channel. I believe. Actually, when I edited it through, when we got to this chapter in at chapter 10 in my FE4 Let's Play, we called it Arden's Tree, but when I went back to my first video, I actually could not find me putting Arden in it. So actually, it's just a myth that that's Arden's Tree. See, look at all the reinforcements. There's also way more... I was about to say there's way more reinforcements than you'd actually get in FE4, but that's not true. Oh, hey, I didn't actually have anybody wait on there. Yeah, uh, time to get Sigurd's ass over here. Um, there's technically a way you can trap him with Override, actually. I'm by sorry. having... You have three... Like, two to three units in a line. Then after those three units, essentially, just like... Like, let's just say, I have three units there. Then a unit there, a unit there, and a unit there. Then Sigurd and Override, he'd, he'd get stuck there. That being said, this map is easy enough that that is really unnecessary. Like, it is not necessary to do anything like that. Because this is a really easy map in this game. Um, but, you know, I really don't care. Um, it's crazy when I think that this summer, I'll have played this game for the first time three years ago. I started playing Fire Emblem in December 2018. Um, I'm going to talk about, probably in the final video, um, the Build Up the Three Houses release, because that's still one of my favorite times as a Fire Emblem fan, even if my opinions on Three Houses aren't necessarily always positive these days. I have a lot of positive things to say about the Build Up to release. Um... <laughs> um 
Fire Emblem 4 is like playing it for the first time is like it was a truly magical experience. I first did it in summer 2020. Uh, late May, early June. Uh, this was high COVID, so I didn't have a job. I wasn't doing YouTube or anything. I just spent a lot of time just doing literally nothing productive because I didn't start doing any productive, like, better yourself things till the end of COVID. Um, I spent a lot of that early COVID time, like, once school went online, that's when I first played FE7. And then around the end of my semester, first week of May, I was playing FE6 for the first time. Uh, then I did FE8 for the first time. Then I did FE11. I didn't like it. Uh, replay Shadows of Luntia. Despised the new mystery, the emblem. Ooh, look at that. All that glorious movement. I'm going to try to set up an override. The last time I... When I did this on Maddening, he just did not want to override me. Um. <laughs> and then... The end of May is when I... First week of June, that's when I truly got into FE4 and I just was floored. I was just floored. I adored it. And as a game, um, obviously, as of recording this, I don't, I don't think it will, I don't think it'll change when I upload it. At least as of recording this, Tears of the Kingdom is not out. Uh, I don't think it will be when I upload this either. Um, the only game that to me has even gotten close to contesting Breath of the Wild to my favorite game of all time is, take a guess, based on what we're talking about. Genealogy of the Holy War. <laughs> um, no, truly, the game is just, it means a lot to me, and I know I'm talking just a lot about FE4. Relax. Thumbnail image. I'm talking a lot, I'm kind of I'm beating Sigurd's horse here. Um, but I urge you, don't wait for a remit. If you're waiting to play FE4 just because of the rumored remake, do yourself a favor and just play it. The remake is hopefully the next Fire Emblem game, yes. But we don't know that. We don't know that for sure. Do yourself a favor and just play it now, and hopefully you'll love it. So when a remake comes out, you'll just be super excited. And if you don't nice. love it, try it with a remake with updated gameplay, and maybe you will love it. I, After this series is over, before the Fire Emblem 6 series, there are, after the final episode here, there are three things I'm going to be doing. The first thing is that I'm going to be doing my mega tier list ranking of every map in Engage. Second is going to be the best of Engage. Uh, I didn't know it before, but I I throughout been working on it, and I do have enough clips that I feel confident enough that it'll be a good video. So I will be doing that. Um, and then I am going to do a guide. A beginner's a guide of FP4. Because I watched a beginner's guide, and if I didn't, who knows if I would have enjoyed it as much as I ended up enjoying it. How um, do you stake your life? Tell me, how do you imagine the world once your war ends? I wish for a peaceful world. For myself, my friends, everyone. A world that we will build for ourselves, where no one will be hurt by the greed of others. It requires power to turn a dream into reality. Show me you have what it takes. See, I've talked earlier in the series about how great Christian Lamont and uh, Nicholas Roll are. And while I do think Grant George out of the three is the one that I think is the le less perfect, he is still an amazing cast for Singer. All the younger lords are perfect for cast. Um, oh yeah, that's right, you get... Um, I don't know what I was saying. Play FE4. Oh, yes. 
and I don't think there's any guys that are truly good enough for this game. I think the best ones are riddled with issues. Um, still, and I, I, I think they go in depth, way too in depth in some areas and not in depth enough in others. And This is going to be a short video because I actually have stuff I need to do after this one. Um, we'll do all the supports and stuff. Um, I am going to see if I have SP for Chloe to get well Cancer done. Plus. You have passed the trial with a stunning display of skill. I didn't do it alone. All of us claimed this victory together. Correct. Friends, allies, family, anyone with whom you forge bonds will give you strength. Now, the moment of truth. Do you wish to avenge the death of your mother, Lumera? I... when I lost her, I was sad and angry. I thought I could never forget the one who took her life. But you asked me if I'd want revenge, and I don't know anymore. I lost many friends, even family, in battle. And yet I find I bear no grudges. I know well the meaning of grief. As well, I know there is no single truth. I entrusted this knowledge to my son, Sela. <laughs> I hoped that it might guide his future. Your son? You and Deirdre's, you mean? Indeed. Now listen well. You carry a proud and noble conviction in your heart. Knowing grief, justice, and truth are subjective, are you still able to fight with conviction? Of course. This war will end, and then I will see to it that the world remains at peace. <sighs> a perfect answer, my friend. And the one I was hoping to hear. So, until the fighting is done and gone, I shall be by your side, watching over you. Love it. I love it. I love Sacred. I really hope the next Fire Emblem game is an FE4 remake. Oh, man. It has every potential with streamlining gameplay, voice acting, cutscenes to be my favorite game of all time. It is really that's what holds it back compared to Breath of the Wild. Is Breath of the Wild is easier just to pick up and play. And p easier to pick up and enjoy. Uh, the one thing I'd really want them to change in an FE4 remake is the arena. That's the one thing I'd want them to actually not be faithful on. I think the arena could use a lot of work. Um... Sigurd, we go together. Good work. Eh. It's kind of boring over here in Melot House. I have a couple of stuff. Oops. I want to do. So. Uh, earlier when we did the first paralogs. Emblem paralogs. I mentioned like how for some fans it could probably mean a lot. Um, actually finally getting to roam in certain areas of their favorite Fire Emblem game, and I kind of alluded to the fact that there is one for me, and, uh... Yeah. The walk-in shelfie. This road. This very road. It's not in the right place, but this very road at the very end of it. There's a Verdane soldier. Right here, give or take. You put Sigurd right over here so that the leadership stars will help Noish and Alec to kill this Verdanite. Look over here. It's where Arden belongs. Right here, Josh! This is where Arden belongs! Nowhere else. There is actually a secret event in the paralogue as well. I didn't show it because it's a pain in the ass, although I probably could have just flown over... Celestia. But... Over here! Right over there! You can actually, there's some hidden item. 
And you don't get to go to the water. Which makes me really annoyed. You don't actually get to go to the water. Next time, baby. My next time. I'm in that FE4 remake. And look. It's the home castle. The home castle. <laughs> Ah. Oh. What a great, great, great game, Effie Forest. Um. Next video is by Leth's Paralog. Um, I, what I was thinking of talking about, Dur, actually. I kind of briefly mentioned this, something I wanted to talk about in regards to the pre-release of Three Houses. I actually may talk about it next video instead of the final video, like I originally planned. I think that's a good time to do it. Um, I have a lot to say about Three Houses, because Three Houses is another game I hold near and dear despite the fact that every single month it moves lower and lower on my Fire Emblem game ranking um which sounds like something that should not be true but even if I don't love it like I used to it's still near and dear to me and I'll get into that later um eh nothing really that good Um, no. Yes. I'm assuming that L wins not giving me enough. No. Put in my Omega Forge blog in A. Oh. I actually have two more spots. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Ah. I got it. Aha. Oh. Oh. Really? Oh. Okay. I'll just stick with four stars. Okay, what's new? You know, I really would show off like the stupid fortune telling thing if it was here. Welcome, div I don't want to do this. Try a new course. Which it's not going to make me actually time. do it, right? You flippers don't want to see it. Welcome, div Which would you like? Have a nice flight. How bad can it be? I forgot I had to hold the button. Did I? actually ever do that the first time this is really hard looking with the camera blocking the TV I have to look on this screen on my computer screen otherwise I will fail this is supposed to be hard bro Oh. Okay, I didn't get perfect anymore. Oh, what the hell? Okay, it got hard. I I don't care.
Okay, is it over yet? It isn't over yet. This is the end, right? That is so boring. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I sat down and did that. I'm actually not going to worry about You're getting... You're quite the wyvern handler. Until next time. Um. Item shop. And then the final thing we'll do before um, moving on to uh, supports is we'll get Chloe, hmm. um, Cantor Plus. <sighs> nice. Ridiculous. Just saying. Do come again. Oh. Um. Wow, this is gonna be a short video unless there's like eons upon eons worth of support. Um, out of curiosity, one, what level is it? How much SP? Level 13, 2000. Maybe that's only if you don't have it inherited, though. Oh, yeah. Level 13. This should be a picturesque match. I am Sigurd. Anyway, prepare yourself. <sighs> I wish you I wish I could just like cut down all the scenes there and like speed the wall. Now and in the matches to come. Oh, I'm trying to decide if I want to just get Louie bumped up to a higher. Sarah, I think I might look, do it to level I found 15. Some extra that's special it. folk food made from dried and fermented fish. The smell is overwhelming. <laughs> this is food, you say? It must be an acquired taste, indeed. Awesome. Boom, Cancer Plus. Real question is, am I actually have to equip it? I am Chloe, I don't know. Royal Knight of uh, and No, I'm actually not going to get Louie up. It'll happen House on its Chelsea. own, and it'll probably happen fast. <laughs> Next chapter is chapter 18, huh? No. By left parallel, then chapter 18. Always huh? do my best. Now and in chapter the 18 is. It was so easy on my first playthrough, but I, it has not been even close to as easy on any subsequent playthrough. Especially on Maddening, that sucker is honestly, I found it harder than 17. And I'll get into why. Well, the main thing is because you can turtle jump for 17. Hey, you really can't. Chapter 18, you really can't. <laughs> so is that just going to upgrade her... Yes, it did. It, it did. It did. No bond. Yeah, that's what I Oh, okay. Celestia, you still haven't taken a break? Well, no. I was still organizing the weapons. I'm almost finished. You know, you can reach out to me at any time. I'd be happy to help you. All of these things you've been noticing and taking care of for us have been really helpful. I'm doing this because I want to. 
By the way, you were wonderful in battle today, Divine One. The bravery you show protecting your friends is inspiring. But all that effort requires rest, too. Thank you. I'll get plenty of food and rest. You don't need to worry about me. Speaking of food, wasn't today's meal so good? That vegetable soup was delicious. Oh, that does sound lovely. Sorry, I didn't realize you hadn't eaten. I'm sure there's still some left if you want to go now. No need to apologize. I got busy and forgot. Oh, the last time I sat down for a proper meal was... Uh, huh, a few days ago, I think. What? You need a proper sit-down meal. Meals take time, but I do snack a lot. There's just so much I want to do for everyone. That's no good. You're coming with me, Celestia. Um, where are we going? You have to eat properly if you're going to have enough energy for all this activity. I'll be watching to see that you take time to sit down and eat more. Wow, none of those were with... Interesting, okay. Everyone else decided to be friends. Hey, I'm sorry for dragging you to that party. I didn't realize it wasn't your kind of thing. No, that's on me. I'm sorry for running off like that in the middle of all the fun. The truth is, I... I'm not comfortable in crowds. Surrounded on all sides like that, you never know who might be out for blood. Wait, did I hear that right? Um, probably not. Forget it, not important. I'm just anxious around people is the thing. Seems like there's some baggage there. Anyway, I promise not to drag you along like that again. I'm sorry you had a bad time. No, no, don't worry about it. Thanks, though. <laughs> Tell me something. What do you think of me? Of you? Well, let's see. I think you're someone who wants to make every day as fun as it can be. I envy that about you, to be honest. Well, if you want some of these good vibes, try showing people a little trust. Trust? Some folks are real pieces of work, no doubt. But if you always keep your walls up, you might miss out on making new friends. Are you saying that's the trick to enjoying life the way you do? That's exactly what I'm saying. Thanks for the pep talk, Fogato. I'm going to take it to heart. I'm going to try to start trusting people more. Yunaka, what's wrong? Where's that boundless joy of yours gone? I can't do it. I can't face the audience. It's too much. I've got to sit this one out. I'm sorry. What? You were excited to get up on stage the last time I saw you. What happened? All the nice things you said, choosing me as the lead. It was all really flattering. But I've never had so many people depending on me before. What if I'm a letdown? They're here to enjoy themselves. Can they really do that with someone like me on stage? Yunaka, did you enjoy acting and dancing during our rehearsals? Was it fun performing? Of course it was. Well, if you enjoyed it, then the audience will enjoy it too. If you don't trust yourself on this, can you at least trust me? I promise you, everyone is going to have a good time. <sighs> My eyes are closed. My hand is here. If you trust me, then take it. And never let go. Your lines. Why are you... <sighs> if you're certain this is what you want, I'm willing to believe in you. Thank you for taking my hand. You are meant to be on that stage, Yunaka. <laughs> as long as I've got your guarantee, I can honestly say I feel a lot better. Soon, everyone will see you for the talented performer I know you to be. Thanks, Seedal. Okay, let's not keep them waiting. There's a lot of folks out there counting on us to make them smile. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's right! I remember the first one now. Yunaka, I cannot help but wonder about your past. I understand wanting to preserve some secrecy, but please, tell me a little about it, won't you? <sighs> okay. My parents abandoned me when I was small. 
After that, growing up was anything but easy. I don't like thinking about it, and I like talking about it even less. I am so sorry. I know well the pain of being neglected by one's parents. You too? Really? Alas, yes. My father was a hopeless drunk. My mother was always out partying. Who knew that we hailed from such similar backgrounds? I wouldn't have guessed, but it's reassuring in a way. Maybe I feel a little less alone. Huh? Bandits. Incoming on our position. I count... Nine. No. Ten. Thought they could get the jump on us, eh? We'll show them. Listen up, pinheads! If I was you, I'd think twice about messing with me and her. One more step, and we'll turn your intestines into outestines! Got it? We're not here to kill anyone. But if you're here to be killed, well... My hands are tied. Okay, I actually really liked that one. That one is awesome. If I have to deal with a meat song. Fun, fun, fun for all to see. Gonna sing, 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 and go shopping. Can't wait to see all the folks out there and dance and shake my hair, hair, hair. Hello, Princess Tamara. Sounds like you're having fun. <laughs> what tipped you off? I'm actually headed into town. All by yourself? No guards oh, or escorts? Yeah. Going incognito. You know, you're more than welcome to come with. Thank you, but I'll pass. I was about to start my daily training regimen. Aw, that's a shame. Would have been fun to hang with Princey D. But he's busy training his body. <sighs> I don't mean to meddle in the affairs of other royals, but... If you have time to sing and dance your way through town, you should have time for training. I don't see those things as mutually exclusive. Besides, spending time with real people, it makes me a better princess. Just like training makes you a better prince. See where I'm coming from? I don't think I do. I train to grow stronger so I can better protect my people. Then we're one and the same. I hang out with folks in town so I can protect them. After all, can't keep someone safe if you don't know who they are. I see. That's an interesting perspective. I'll have to think that one over while I train. Well, YouTube, wow, this is a sub 50 minute video. I'm honestly shocked. Well, YouTube, I will see you next time. Goodbye.